I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so of course there's like this pressure of being the the first one, having to bring to life the first one. And, yes. and obviously that's come with a lot of pressure that I've put on myself and also, I mean, much like Hunger Games, there's just a very dedicated group of people Fans, who yeah. love Disney cartoons. I'm one of them, mm. you know, I I love uh, the everything that the Disney company has put out yeah. in the past a million years, a hundred years this yeah. year. <laughs> and so Wow, look at that flip-flop. A nice 180 degree turn. It's interesting, once that pressure starts mounting up, people, you know, will tend to change their colors a little bit. But nope, it should still be canceled. Nobody wants to watch this garbage. Nobody wants the Snow White remake, especially with this individual. She tra You already heard her right there. Oh, you know, it's just not like that no more. Nobody wants that. There's plenty of other interviews where she's just trashing the franchise and the movie. People have already seen it. Nobody wants to see it from the jump, let alone with this individual. It's going to suffer the same fate as the Marvels. And the Bob Iger, the CEO that left and they brought him back to try to rescue this sinking Titanic ship, was already, oh, there's just too many sequels. Well, that's kind of a good point. Nobody wants the sequels. Make fresh new movies like the Encanto, the Coco, the Raya, the Last Dragon. Those are all fine. Make those kind of movies. Newer movies people are fine with that all the this wish and all this like little subliminal messages and hidden agendas nobody wants to see that nobody wants a buzz woke gear that movie was terrible nobody asked for it nobody wanted it. and then they injected all the propaganda into it and people just push back that's how you know the majority of this country of people just in general don't want none of this garbage then it's talking about uh, he was talking about the marvels oh it was just lack of supervision on the set Really? That's what it was? You guys signed off on all this garbage. You knew what was happening and you guys still put it out there. Nobody, nobody wanted it from the jump. Even early trailers, early leaks, people were already bashing it because they knew which way it was going. It's an all-female cast, an all-female villain. All nobody wants to see that. They had great characters from the jump. You had like your Black Widow, Scarlet. You had good characters, people from S.H.I.E.L.D. People liked those individuals those were good characters but no you had Gamora too that was another really great character but no they have to keep force feeding this garbage messaging that nobody wants and you see what they think that they're slick go out there and just talk about how great the franchise is and the anniversary coming up and how great everything is and how glad and thankful you are for this opportunity and you see she's sitting there with the new Little Mermaid remake that nobody wanted as well it's kind of interesting what if they took Princess and the Frog with the Tiana and what if you made her a white person, a white girl? Could you imagine the outrage? Nobody wants it and they're still with it. So you need to get rid of this girl completely. Just as she's done, get rid of her. Nobody wants to see her and scrap the movie. Just you watch. If they go forward, they already pushed this back a year. If they go forward with this dumpster fire, it will be way worse than the Marvels. Go back, just bookmark this video and come back. If they do release this garbage movie, it will do worse than the Marvels. Nobody wants to see it. What they're doing, especially with her, is just a recipe for disaster. And the Bob Iger, you know, it's too many sequels and lack of supervision. Lack of supervision exactly from you. Just say we're done with it. Whatever happened, take the, you're already taking hits on Indiana Jones and all the other garbage. Take the hit on this, scrap it, don't do it. Get back to making great films like they did in the past and stop just having Walt Disney rolling in his grave because that's exactly Exactly what he's doing and Stanley by Phil so them two just complete they take such a great thing and just trash it that's what the wokeness and all this BS ideology will get you they will destroy franchises so just scrap it get rid of it thank you guys for watching let me know your guys's opinion on this potential which we know dumpster fire and I will catch you guys on the next one